Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John Matthew. And this is lesson number 3 in less than 20 minutes and we continue with our asymptotes. And in this video, we are going to work out a few important problems that comes regularly in exam. And I feel this time they are going to ask a 4 mark question of this type. Okay, let's start. So I hope all of you watched the last video because that was very important because we learned the procedure, we learned how to use calculators. That's very, very, very important because many students struggle to find the value of M. Because in your high school, you never learn how to solve a cubic equation systematically. Some cubics can be solved easily, some you may not be uh, able to solve easily. Anyway, let's start. So, um, like I told you before, the first thing to do is you write it term by term. And then you look at the degree. And you have to understand that the total number of asymptotes will always be less than or equal to the degree. Okay, now I am going to check for horizontal and vertical. So, look at this. Um, I am not able to find any x cube. So, that means it's a bad news. We have to find the horizontal asymptote. But I am able to see y cube, y to the power degree. That means vertical asymptotes do not exist. And can you tell me how do we find the horizontal asymptote? We learned the method in the last video. It's very simple. You look for the terms containing the highest powers of x. You look for the terms containing the highest powers of x. So there is no x here. Ignore. There is x. There is x. Ignore. Ignore. Now highest power is x to the power 2. So the coefficient and equate it to 0. So that will be y is equal to 0. Once more I will tell you. If you want horizontal asymptote, you look for the highest powers of x. Terms containing the highest powers of x. Anyway, first I found the terms which contain x and then I chose the terms or in this problem there is only one term and the coefficient equal to 0. It's so simple. And if you are looking for vertical asymptote, you, look, um, you do the same trick but with y. But there are no vertical asymptotes, so let's not waste time and go for oblique asymptote. So look at this, till now we found only one asymptote. So we may find two more asymptotes because the total number of asymptotes is less than or equal to 3. Okay, let y equal to mx plus c be the required oblique asymptote. Now I am not going to talk about what is an asymptote etc. etc. You, you already are familiar with those things. Okay, so what's the method? You write the third degree terms. Third degree, third degree, third degree. Second degree terms are not here. So, zero, obvious. And the first degree terms, the constant terms. And then, what is the trick? Come on, tell me. Yep, you put x equal to 1 and y is equal to m. You put x equal to 1 and y equal to m. And so simple, m cube, m into 1 square, m square into 1 into 2. Anyway, you will end up like this. So, I am confident that you understand up to this very clearly. Now, don't forget, a slant asymptote or an oblique asymptote will be in the form m x plus c. So, your job is to find the values of m and c. So, like I told in the last video, the first equation equal to 0 will always, always, always give you the value of m. Okay. Now, this is very simple to solve. We can solve it without a calculator. But in the exam, there is no guarantee. They can ask any type of questions. If it is a little bit complicated equation, then you will be helpless without a calculator. So, learn the method with calculator. Okay. 
So I'm going to write the four equations. So if degree three, there are four equations. We talked about the shortcut, and I guess you're kind of like comfortable with the equation. Anyway, first equation we will find m, and depending on the values of m. For example, if you get alpha, beta, beta. So we will use uh, this equation to find the value of c corresponding to alpha. And since beta is coming two times, since beta is coming two times, we will use the equation with c to the power two. Okay, here we go. So what I did is I equated it to zero. Once more, let me tell you, this equation is very simple, so you don't need a calculator. But let me teach you how to use the calculator. If you do not remember the whole procedure, go for the last video. Okay. Anyway, we have the coefficients m cube plus 2m square plus 1 into m plus a constant is 0 is equal to 0. So 1, 2, 1, 0. You plug it. I got x1 and uh, by the way, I am displaying both the calculators, class this and the old one. And x2 is 0. Oh no, I am not able to find x3. My calculator is not giving me x3. That means one of the root is repeating. If you are not able to understand, you have not watched the last video. Pause the video right now and watch the other one. Okay. Anyway, using the trick that I taught you in the last video, that is differentiate this. And we already got two roots here, right? Minus 1 and 0. And I am going to plug this here. 3 into 1 plus 6 into minus 1 plus 1 equal to 0. And if I plug in the other one, I will get 0 plus 0 plus 1 equal to 0. And obvious, obvious, this gives me 0 equal to 0, which is true. And this gives me 1 equal to 0, which is false. So this is not the repeated root. So now I know that the roots are 0, minus 1, minus 1. Okay, anyway, uh, if you use a calculator or not, you got the roots. For the distinct root, use the equation with c power 1. For the repeated roots, since it is repeating two times, use the one with c square. If it repeats three times, use the one with c cube. Anyway, just like the last video, I'm, I'll scroll slowly. But my recommendation is pause the video, try this yourself. You will not be able to score good marks unless and until you practice with pen and paper. This is not a movie. It's an educational video. So you have to use pen and paper and work out the problem along with me. Anyway, this is what I got. Confirm the answer. I got three asymptotes. Okay. Uh, if you have any doubts, you can post it below. And one more thing. Uh, if you find the videos useful, do support us. Uh, share the channel with your friends, like the videos and support us. Okay, let's go back to the next question. So, look at this. Find the asymptotes of the curve y cube minus x y square minus etc etc etc. I'm so happy. It is like term by term. It is already arranged term by term. So, the first thing to do the degree. What's the degree? The degree equal to 3. So I know horizontal plus vertical plus oblique is less than or equal to 3. Come on, work out along with me. Now what we do is uh, I can see y cube. Good news, good news. I can see y cube means there are no vertical asymptote. I can see x cube, so no horizontal asymptote. So directly we can go to the oblique one. So I'm going to assume let y equal to mx plus c be the format of my oblique asymptote, the slant asymptote. Okay, so what's the first thing to do? You collect phi 3 of x comma y. What do you mean by phi 3? Degree 3 terms. x y square minus x square y plus x cube. Then you collect degree 2 terms in x and y and that will be 
x square minus y square. Then you collect degree 1 terms. I don't see any terms with degree 1. Now the constant term and that will be minus 1. Now what you do is you put x equal to 1 and y equal to m. That gives me m cube minus m square minus m plus 1. Then phi 2 I got 1 minus m square. Phi 1 is of course 0. And phi naught is minus 1. Anyway, I have already solved this. So as usual, the first equation will be phi 3 is equal to 0. How do you get the second equation? Very simple. C by 1 factorial phi 3 dash plus phi 2. You can see that uh, the root 1 is repeating and the root minus 1 is non-repeating. For the non-repeating one, this will be enough to find C. And I need one more equation for the repeating roots because it is repeating two times. So I need C square by 2 factorial phi 3 double dash plus C by 1 factorial phi 2 dash plus phi 1 equal to 0. Anyway, I want you to solve this and comment below the answers. If you comment the answers, uh, it will be useful for others who are using the video. So you just write m equal to minus 1, the value of c. m equal to 1, the value of c. And tell me whether you are able to solve it in your calculator or not. Because if you do not have a calculator, you can solve, but still with a calculator, it will be so easy. Okay, now I kept the answers here. You can confirm whether you got the same answer or not. Okay, now one more question and we are off. And in the next video, we will do something very important that has been uh, introduced into this syllabus. It was there long back also, but uh, they can ask a two mark question from that. That is asymptotes of polar equations. We will do that in the next video. And by that time, you practice a lot of questions from any book that you like. Okay. So, we have an equation. Now, this question is very important because the first thing you have to do is simplify, write it term by term. Can you see? That is exactly what I did. I am writing this term by term. Now, come on. Tell me what's the next thing to do. Degree equal to 4. HA plus VA plus OA will be less than or equal to 4. Are you able to see X power 4? Yes. So that means good news or bad news? Good news. Because no HA. No VA. So we go directly to OA. And look here. The fourth degree term, third degree term, second degree term, first degree term, zero degree term. Once more, pause the video. Try to do this problem by yourself. If you are able to do, then your confidence will increase and work out many, many questions like this from the past paper questions. Then we put x equal to 1, y equal to m. That's it. And here we go with all the equations. In your examination, if you want, you can write all the equations. It will be good because in case you make some careless mistake, the person who checks the paper will feel, okay, the student has understood something. Uh, so, the, as always, the first one to find the values of m. And, of course, I use my calculator. And in this problem also, you can do it without a calculator. But I still want you to get trained with the calculator. Oh, so look at this. So, 1 repeats 2 times, minus 1 repeats 2 times. So, you need the equation with c square. So, basically, you need not write these equations. You need only this. This is also not necessary. Anyway, this is what I got. Okay. So, friends, I will be back with uh, another video. So, till then, my friends, bye.